All right, got the windshield off the snow cab. And here's the snow cab. So I know I need to loosen the bolts for the rear handles or remove them because I need to insert the back of the, uh, I think it's these guys underneath, but then tighten it all down again. The real phone is sliding these into these. So I need to undo those bolts. Um, and I think the windshield is also going to be a bit, a bit precarious as well. So yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll see what happens here. Hernia, take one. So these guys right here, this and this need to be able to slip over these um, these these handrails. Uh, so I got to pull those bolts out. Yeah, take two. Okay, that's how we're doing up here. I've seen worse.
get a hammering device. So I just need to slip that front piece in, that bracket underneath the footrest, and kind of the same thing over here. That's kind of it. Um, but easier said than done. I'm going to have to get a hammer and kind of just fiddle and finagle, but I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I can do it by myself. All right. Lots of hammering and just elbow grease. I managed to slip those guys all the way down to the bolt hole and got those bolted in on both sides. There's the other side somewhere. There it is. So now I have to hook. Here, let me try to do this here. If I can handle it. Okay. Yeah, something like this. Now, what size is that? Is that also half an inch? I misplaced my half inch socket. Yeah. So basically, this guy just does one of these. And I don't know if it's like way forward or this spring goes on the thing. Oh, is this uh Oh yeah, I'm supposed to snap that on there. Uh, I guess at the end. Where's the hole for that spring? It's down there somewhere. Not too bad, I guess. Almost had it too. So yeah, I'm supposed to like crank up on that. Pretty much holds that in. Uh oh, what's this? Oh great, the door is pinched on the frame. There we go. That wasn't good. That was probably why that was fighting me. Jeez. You know, sometimes I'm a real genius. I probably bent that too. Yeah, I think I did. I don't have to deal with that yet. Let me close this door, at least. Jeez. Let me see if the other side's like that. Probably not. No. I'm trying to decide how I want to set this thing up before I crank it down. I guess it's sort of happy here ish. Now I have to use a quarter drive. Probably break something here. I don't think that has to be. I'm, oh, I'm totally bending that. Jeez. Or maybe not? I don't know. I don't think that has to be any tighter than that. In fact, that probably is too tight. Let's check the other side. I don't know where this wants to be exactly. Maybe, yeah. Somewhere where that Velcro is happy, I think. Somewhere like that. Not bad. Now, see this spring? I have to attach that spring. See if I can do this here. Can you see anything? Actually, yes. If I can find it. It goes in there. First try, okay. Guess I'm right handed. I already knew that. Now we need to do the snap, Mr. Snap here. 
ねえ。I think we learned to do the snap first. I think I need to back that off, hit the snap, and then place that where it wants to be. Let's try that. That actually doesn't buy me a whole lot. Does it? Um, I just want to do this snap here. That's all I'm really trying to do. It's close. Not close enough, I guess. I can hear Velcro stretching, so maybe if I undo the Velcro. Yeah, that seems like it might go now. Can't feel anything or see anything. Almost. There. Just like that. <laughs> One, two, three, snap. All right, so now this guy needs to kind of like, yeah, like that. Yeah. Well. Can we bulk out without wrinkles? Is that going to be possible? Kind of a crappy Velcro job here. feels happy there so I'll just run that in there that snap I can pull this forward a lot of that helps kind of oh man that's tight okay how about I just do that does that help me a little bit push that forward more close real close now okay all right that kind of sucked how about we do the spring? Ow! God! There, okay. That's in. Alright. And then this guy needs to go... What? Is this thing, like, just too high up? Is that the problem? I guess that's good enough. Seems kind of where it needs to be. Oh good, now I've stripped the... That's fantastic. I stripped the hole. Oh my god. Or the bolt, I guess I stripped. Wow. Huh. Well, that's inconvenient. Well. How about we just leave it like that for now? 
and uh, I replaced the bolt at some point. Yeah, that's the plan. I don't think my threads are going. Okay, so what now? Oh, the windshield. Oh boy, the windshield. Let me fiddle with the windshield before I do the rest of it. Boy, this is going to be fun. This part sucks. There's a dowel that runs through the center of this uh, lower windshield here. And it really wants to be pinched by the windshield. Something like that. That's kind of what it wants. There's really no good way to hold that. And I don't remember how... I don't remember doing this in the spring, but I might have just finagled it all apart before. So I think what I'm going to have to do is loosen, loosen maybe that guy right there and this guy right here and lift off, lift up on the roof just a little bit. So I'm just going to get those guys to loosen. I think that's the plan here. That. And so yeah. now we just reinstall that hardware on the inside. Use the shorter ones on this side, I think. Yeah, works. That looks good. I don't want to skin my little thingies when I change the transfer case range. You don't want that, now do we? Alright, those are started. Let me start the other side just so it doesn't slip off.
the rear supports really aren't adjustable, so it kind of makes sense to tighten these and then finalize the thing that is adjustable. So the last thing is adjust these little supports here until they're happy. This one actually seems like it is happy, like this, and just like that. I've learned not to crank these down too much, so I probably will. That's all it needs. That's it. That's it. Is this more close still? Kinda. Whole thing is off as usual. So that's that. Now all I have to do is connect the uh, wiper motor harness. This guy, I need to pull it out of the, the hood area and run it up to the wiper motor. And here's the final product. Five o'clock at night, of course. Got that on. I adjusted the Velcro down here which seemed to have helped the door closing issue. I had an issue with the marker tail light over here. Still not sure it's totally fixed, but it uh, works now. But yeah, got this all together by my own self. So, uh, oh yeah, this bolt is stripped. And uh, honestly, Probably doesn't really matter, can probably just stay there, but I probably should pull that out and go get another bolt. But for now, we're done.